Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss in Microsoft Dynamic 365 work with inventory and warehouses in field service. Now we will discuss about a warehouse management, a location where inventory is stored. This can be a physical building, a storage room or even a mobile unit like a service truck. Warehouse help track where products are stored and ensure field agent have the necessary supplies. And product inventory, the quantity of a specific product available at a given warehouse. It includes details such as quantity available, quantity on hand and quantity allocated. Inventory transfer, an inventory transfer is when you move product from one warehouse to another. And inventory adjustment lets inventory managers change the number of product in a warehouse. We use inventory adjustments to manually add inventory to warehouse or subtract inventory from warehouse. Now we will see how we can do that. So we will be creating inventory transfer and we will be creating one inventory adjustment. So for warehouse first change area as inventory. As you can see warehouses is here. So click on that. Now there are two warehouses, one the main warehouse and it is coming by default and another one is car warehouse. So mostly in field service business. So we need to take our product to the customer location like whenever need to install something and whenever we need to fix some issue. So we need to take the product to the customer location and usually the field service agent will be loading the car at the start of the day and he will be completing all the work order for the day. And then finally, he will be returning the warehouse. So we need to have the main warehouse. So where the majority of stocks will be there and car warehouse, it will be like every day or once in a week. And the service person will load the car. Now open the main warehouse and go to the related and then click on product inventory from here. Now I can see all the product that are available in this warehouse. So here we can see quantity available, quantity on hand, quantity on order and quantity allocated. So what are quantity available, quantity allocated, quantity on hand and quantity on order. Basically quantity available the number of units that remain to be sold and quantity allocated the number of units that are currently listed on work orders as allocated work order product and quantity on hand the sum of quantity available and quantity allocated values basically this field represent units still still physically present in your warehouse even if they are already committed to work and quantity on order the number of units that are currently listed on purchase orders but are not received any added to inventory. Basically, this field represents units that are on the way. Now, go to the car warehouse and this is the product inventory of car warehouse. So here, all the products are available. So usually in the car, the quantity will be this. And either he will be carrying the products that needs to have for that particular day or for the particular week and they will note all the product in the warehouse. So we can use this product Cafe Duo. So in currently main warehouse, I have 50 quantity of this product Cafe Duo. Now go to the car warehouse. So this particular Cafe Duo product and in the main warehouse, I have 50 quantity and in the car warehouse. So currently I have 5 quantity. So what I will do now I will create a product transfer of this particular product from the main warehouse to car warehouse. Now click on transfer from here and I will create new inventory transfer. So click on new button from here. Now here I need to choose the source warehouse. So I will choose main warehouse because transfer from main to car warehouse now select the car warehouse as destination warehouse. 
Now click on save button and once I have saved this record, so here I getting this one grid. So here I can add the product in which product I want to transfer. So now I am selecting Cafe Duo and the unit is auto populate and select the quantity. So currently main warehouse quantity available is 50 and car warehouse is 5. So I will transfer two quantity and then click on save and close button. So I have created an inventory transfer record. So where I have mentioned source warehouse as main and the destination warehouse as car warehouse. And I also added the product in which product should be changed from one warehouse to another warehouse and the quantity is 2. Now go to the main warehouse and firstly refresh it. So again click on related and then click on product inventory. So as you can see earlier it was 50 and now it was reduced to 48. And then go to the car warehouse. Now click on related again and then click on product inventory. So here it will be increased to 7. Now I will explain the inventory adjustment. Now open the inventory adjustment. Now click on new button. So from the car warehouse. So we will take the same product as an example. So next when you are counting in your car warehouse. So you are seeing quantity is 6 only. And it is not 7 for this particular product. Now need to create an adjustment in our system. And when we create an inventory adjustment. So you don't want to specify destination warehouse. Because inventory adjustment will happen only for one warehouse only. Now I will select car warehouse from here. And then click on save button. And now click on product tab and click on new inventory adjustment product. So select the product as cafe duo. So quantity it is not 7 it is 6. Now what I will do here. So in quantity I will put minus 1. And then click on save and close button. Now go back to the car warehouse and firstly refresh it. So now as you can see. It will show as 6 here. So in this video we covered what is warehouse and under warehouse what is product inventory and how we need to do inventory transfer and inventory adjustment. Thanks for watching.